guys, today I'm Boss and today we're going to be doing a review on the Ewoks. Now I'm unboxing because I got this from Christmas from Santa, the real Santa. And honestly, it isn't that well. Santa gave me a screen protector. I think maybe that's why the packaging's bad. Comes with instructions. The app is really not that exciting. And you may be thinking, ooh, look, it's an Apple Watch. No, it's not. It's, um, it's a new watch. Let's take it there. Mm. Agreed. So, new watch. No, I only look up and down to you. And they say you can do that face. I can't. Oh, look, I'm turning it on. Oh, yeah, I just powered off because it's annoying. And it has to connect to your phone. No seller. I don't even know how much these these cost yet. But honestly, it, it's just garbage. I mean, look at this. It, this might look like an Apple Watch. Yeah, anyway. But honestly, I mean, it's hundred percent now. It charges quite quickly. It says seventy-seven minutes. Maybe it is in fifty percent. A bit weird. But it's really fidgety and just not nice. It, it, it's just. Just fidgety sometimes. I mean, like when you, it's hard sometimes. Nothing all that easy. What you're doing right now? Not actually. Sometimes it just when you want to press something, it just doesn't work, and then it just goes back like this automatically, and it's actually really annoying. Really not nice. And it also the same guy is in Apple Watch because, so yeah this off it charges from here USB. Apple watches they don't have that on the side and it also doesn't have the actual power button here. And this the roller which ro rolls there's no use. There's literally no use for it. You can only do this, press it to turn it on and if you want to turn it off, just hold. Let me know like how Apple phones and products turn off. That's called a different name, I upset that, but it isn't the actual Apple Watch. And if you turn it on again, it doesn't show Apple, just does that, and just goes on. It's just really not that great. And how can I change face? Well, change faces. Well, okay, I'm just going to see. I mean, it connects to your phone, but then you can't connect to it. It's just annoying, and it's... When you're trying to call, when well, my friend was calling, I could not answer because it was actually on the watch and it was my phone. And that was actually really annoying and not actually much helpful. So I didn't like that either. Um, they don't have the button here. You can change it to a smart style like the normal watches has. You know, like where you go through the apps. But that's honestly really annoying on this watch and I think the display is smaller. Because it doesn't reach up to there as a normal Apple Watch would. But honestly, look, I'm trying to scroll. For you, it might be easy, but looking at it, it has settings. Not doesn't rely on Wi-Fi, relies on Bluetooth connection to my phone, so it's through most of its features. It can do issue G heart rate. So if I just go, if I just, it has power saving too. Ugh, it's annoying. Like I'm trying to go through these settings. It's just annoying. It's literally. It's lit. You can see what I'm seeing here. I'm trying to get out of settings. One click me going like, like this. But honestly, it's it's brutally um annoying. It has dot porch motion. You can change theme. Ugh, that, that, that's what I'm saying. It does that automatically. It's just really annoying. Theme. Sometimes, look, I'm like theme too. Sometimes it doesn't want to press. And that's actually really annoying. And then it just goes back to the home. That's what I'm trying to show you there. It's really not um, nice. And I'm going to show you what it does for the ECG heart monitor. Um, has a calculator. But it's, it's really annoying. It's hard to type phone numbers into it. Honestly, it's just not a good watch. I have a screen protector which Santa gave me. And it's in the way. Look, I'm on theme too, and I didn't want to do that. I kind of did to show you, but it's it's really um, 
bad. It's really clunky. How can I say? Can I say? It's just it's it's really fiddly. That's what it is. Really fiddly. I was running camera or an action actual camera. The app QR code it has alarms, anti loss calculated due to music. Aha, heart rate, ECG. See here. Does this. Three. Does that. It's obviously not tracking anyone's heart rate. Not on their hand. See that. Oh, it's found a screen scanning. Let's see if it scans the phone. Okay, I'm going to scan the phone. Got the ECG. 74 BPM. Well, let's check right now. Okay, let's see. It's 86 and it's at 70. Oh, yeah, it's just changing, obviously. I don't even know if it's precise, I might do a test, but honestly, it's not nice. It does bring you up, to, wait, see, it does bring you up where, where it was, which is nice when you press heart rate, and sometimes you can't, it just doesn't let you press, sometimes when you try and press something, it just doesn't work, which is annoying, it just goes back to the home screen and show the watch face, so, and it just turns off, which is also annoying. Which is what I don't, and it doesn't have like this, like on the Apple watches. I mean, I know it is an Apple watch, but it's a copy. It should be kind of the same. Set, okay, heart rate, just gonna press start. Scanning. Go with time of seconds, trying to scan. I'm just gonna scan what it says here. And it's actually different from the ECG. So I'm gonna scan, it says 70. Which is what I did say, and then 86, which is the same, but on mine it's just something different when it's on my wrist. It's quite annoying, like 86 and 79. It's just, sometimes it's just a bit annoying and frustrating trying to look at it. It's frustratingly trying to go through the apps. Look, I didn't want to press that, and I just did that. It's really just not nice, and it doesn't keep your steps, which is. Also not nice, it's just these steps, so much is not actually nice, maybe because I've held it off, but honestly, it's, it's really annoying. This camera, press it now, ooh, capture, I need my phone for this. Look, if I press, it does that, look, then it says capture. I don't know how that works yet, but it's a bit, it's a bit boring and all that, even though some of watches are boring. And there's anti loss, but honestly, it's a bit boring. But I sleep monitor, but it's just annoying. And you can't even reply to notifications, it's just not, it's not even nice. And then you can't call now. This is the main menu, press that. I'll, this is four apps, and I can go to smart. Oh, see, that's annoying. And I, but it does keep, and I go to smart style. I'm trying to press smart style, but it isn't pressing. And that, that's the annoying thing of this watch. See, it's, it, I, I tried to press smart style. It just did not work. Honestly, it's just a failure, and the screen is really bad. It's just, it's just a problem. And it will annoy a lot of people like me. Now it works, but it's really glitchy. It's currently not to more access your app. Like when you're trying to go through everywhere, it's really glitchy. It's not that good. It, and it just doesn't mean you just press the wrong apps. It's just really annoying. Um, now I'm going to put it back to an easier way again. You can call people. Well, if you know, like on your phone, where you have those little phones, the Apple phones. Um, you can, but honestly, if you don't have like a pop-up phone, you know, say that, like for me, as in the case, it's just really annoying. You can't even call people. People have actually can call from the mobile app, like parents can. You kids can't because you don't have much. Now, some people do, like me, but honestly, like 
okay it's just annoying it's honestly annoying and discreet i'm trying to get back now to the four apps here we go I'm trying to press four apps just goes back to home screen it's just really annoying not nice it really just makes me angry okay four apps but it is annoying and sometimes it makes you wish you can smash it like flip to mute and come and crawl press that try to do one doesn't work it doesn't want to do the on and then it just goes back to the home screen it's really annoying now features of this thing we're going to look at the tag if we can throw it away so we don't throw it not that thing. here's the box now what it says so it says you know i can't even change the face and the app is not even useful it doesn't do look Right. Really not helping, is it? No, it's just bad. But anyway, this is what it can do. Have a look. Call people, I think, talk to them. Track steps, shows here. You can message people with calendar, heart rate. People who are older say, wow, that's amazing. Me, no, that's not amazing. For my dad, Weirdly, it works and it's easy for him. So, well, it's a problem with a thing that was actually quite hard and annoying for me, and it's just really not nice. And I've got this from Santa. So, let's see. First kind of junk. Yeah, that's junk. Here are the instructions. I guess they're okay. They do make sense. They are good. Um, now, where was I? Where it said the stuff about the watch? There is. Here we go, side. I'm going to read out to you. Platform, MTK2502, size 44.38.10,7 millimeters, weight 50 grams, case material, alloy, strap material, TPU, charger, standard USB cable, color black and white, well, it's black, comma, white. I guess, but usually it's wine. Well, this is blank. Um, yeah, where was I? I'm screen display 1.54 HD IPS, 200, um, comma, 240 touch screen, um, Bluetooth 3.0 and 4.0 supports cooling, battery. 380 amperes large capacity polym polymer. Oh my, now what it says on the back of the watch here. Like what Apple Watch says. It doesn't say Apple Watch, it says Bluetooth Watch Series 4. Most space for the Series 4. Aluminium and ceramic, which I'm thinking how. I think how aluminium and ceramic. Okay, so aluminium ceramic case, ECG heart rate, Bluetooth, and then there's these watches for an Apple Watch. But honestly, I don't know. But Stephanie also says that's not an Apple Watch. I guess the sensors are the same, they look the same, but I don't know which one's more accurate or if they're even the same in accuracy. But yeah, that's all I have to say for the e watch. It's not an Apple Watch kind of the same bit laggy when you do the smart style it's really hard and sometimes annoying to use honestly for my dad it's not because i don't know he swipes so good on that it's just, it's just really bad it's just really, really annoying and not nice um the watch it was it was already um connected like this i also show how to put this on your hand so if you have your hand just imagine there's a hand and you have this and now you go over it first thing and you know how big your hand is then without no problem you just push down goes in then with this you just put it up and then push it in and then if you want to take it off you just pull that out and just lift it up and not just lift it but you know, just it should be easy. And this came like this, not like I don't know which door it came over here, but it just came like this, you know, the 
brown. Uh, I thought it was an apple from Santa, but it's just white thing. I did it. I did. I didn't think it says Ewok, it's like kind of like this, not like this. And with the charge underneath this and the instructions, you know, then I took it out and you know, so on. But I want to take this off the charge of instructions here. And, but honestly, it was a bit dull when I saw what it could do. It really was annoying. And so that's my thoughts for the e watch. Um, you can argue with me. If, um, comment down the video and see you in the next video. Bye! And please subscribe both them and like. Bye!